We begin with a major decision by General Motors to cut jobs and close some of its plants. The car maker announced today it is shutting down at least five facilities by 2019. They are located in Detroit, Warren, Ohio, White Marsh, Maryland, Warren, Michigan, and Oshawa in Ontario, Canada. GM says it is seeking to cut its salaried staff by 15 percent. More than 14,000 workers could lose their jobs. And several car models are expected to be discontinued. Those include the Chevy Cruze, Cadillac CT6, and Buick LaCrosse. GM said some of those models were not selling well. This all comes as GM moves to cut costs while focusing more on electric and autonomous vehicles. The company's CEO, Mary Barra, said, quote, we are taking this action now while the company and the economy are strong to keep ahead of changing market conditions. For more on this, we're joined on the phone by Randy Essex. He's a senior content director at the Detroit Free Press. Randy, thanks so much for joining us. First off, what specific reasons is GM giving for making these cuts? Well, it's the, the quote from Mary Barra that you read that they're trying to get in front of the need to invest in the future of vehicles and adjust to the market. But the auto industry is always cyclical. And peak auto sales were in 2016. Um, sales are, even though the economy is good, sales are slowing down in the United States and Canada. They're slowing down in China, <clears throat> which is the world's largest auto market. And um, GM is, I, I think that you're seeing an auto company that has learned from the bankruptcy 10 years ago uh, and the recession, and it's truly trying to be proactive uh, about trimming its costs and uh, changing its workforce. You know, GM is still hiring, um, even amid these cuts, uh, people who are really uh, – able to work on the future of automobiles, autonomous vehicles, and electric vehicles, so, and so forth. They're so, Randy, with, are you yeah. saying that where GM is hiring is sort of in the tech sector? It's hiring engineers that are, like you said, on the cutting edge of the technology, looking forward, like autonomous vehicles, electric cars, et cetera? That's exactly right. And the production facilities that are being phased out, uh, you mentioned several of the cars. One of them is the Chevy Volt, which was the first... Um, kind of electric car. It, it has a backup gas generator, but um, that's kind of a significant step. But consumers are moving toward SUVs and uh, pickup trucks and sedans are out. So this is where GM is trimming uh, its production and reshaping its workforce in some well, ways. So, Randy, you talk about the reshaping of the workforce, but the you know United Auto Workers Union can't be pleased with this news. What has been its response? They're angry, um, predictably angry. They say that they'll pursue all legal and uh, bargaining means to halt this. Uh, they're upset that the GM's doing some production in Mexico. Uh, of course, the, the, the uh, master contract for the UAW with the, the American-based automakers is due uh, to be renegotiated in 2019. So this certainly uh, puts a sharp point on those discussions. Right. They're getting ahead of those discussions. All right. Randy Essex, thank you so much for your insight. You're welcome. Thank you.